David Taub, GV Wire, here with Manuel Cunha from the Nisei Farmers League. Manuel, a lot of people in the last couple of weeks have talked about the term sanctuary cities in Fresno and California. What, what, what's your vision? What's your uh, view on this issue? Um, I think sanctuary cities is a very bad move on, on our country, and especially where you talk about you want to have a sanctuary city where anybody can hide. How do you know if a person is an immigrant or non-immigrant or illegal or illegal? But the government, we need to figure out who the criminals are, and they need to be removed, okay? No matter whatever it is. But when you start doing sanctuary cities, you create all sorts of bad situations of crime in your own communities. And in this state, uh, we owe the government a lot of money as well. And, and I think it's a wrong position to take. We've got to deal with immigration, and we've failed over the past 25 years. And I think Congressman David Valadeo, Senator Feinstein are moving forward, working with the Trump administration. But sanctuary colleges and cities is not the way to, to address this issue. There's other objectives there behind people, and they're using, I think, Trump as the, as the leverage for this, but to cause other issues. Now, uh, in Fresno, Mayor Lee Brand said he, Fresno's not a sanctuary city, but I don't know if you'd say he backtracked, but he kind of uh, maybe new, used more neutral language a couple days later. Uh, what's your vision or what's, what's your opinion on his handling of this issue? Well, I think the mayor knows that you can't have a sanctuary city, and I think that's the issue. If Homeland Security wants to come in, um, audits, they have the authority under statute. No state can stop that. And I think he understands that. I didn't hear his other language on the whatever. But once we start saying we do not support that type of situation, and then we suddenly turn around and we say, oh, no, now we're going to change our minds and we are going to support, that's a bad situation to be in as an elected official. And a lot of our elected folks are that way anyway. But not the mayor, I think, has made the right decision not to support that type of situation at all. Now, finally, have you heard anything from the federal government or the Trump administration regarding the issue of water storage? Yes. Um, we are working very hard with the Trump administration and even with the new secretary, uh, Sonny Perdue. Sonny Perdue knows that California water crisis is an issue. Donald, Mr. President Trump has brought it up. Also, some other folks understand it. So I think the three projects they're looking at is going to be temperance, Shasta, maybe, and sites, but temperance is on the list. And have any have you guys actually had formal or informal conversations with them since uh, since January 20th when Trump took over? Um, I have communicated with some of the the newly elected secretary with their folks on water. All right. Well, you keep us uh, keep us in the loop. All right, Manuel. Thanks so much for joining us. And this is a great event today for. Uh